Hi, my name is Courtney. I'm following Janie's journey on YouTube. I'm really enjoying watching it. And um, I'm here to answer some questions about 21 Day Fix. I've been doing it for a few months now and I've had some success with it. Um, I started roughly in May and I've lost 25 pounds so far. From February to May, I lost 20 pounds and that the first 20 pounds came off really, really quick. But I started looking for a way to really get my portion control where it needed to be because my weight loss had slowed down. And so I had a friend on Facebook from high school and she was a Team Beach Body coach. And I signed up under her to do 21 Day Fix because I saw the results she had had and they were really great. So, um, so and that's how it all started. Now I fix all the time. I'm what they call a chronic fixer. I just do round after round of it. Um, what sets this way of eating apart from other diets I have tried? Well, number one, I don't think it's a diet. It's more of a lifestyle for me. Um, it's really sustainable. Um, I don't have to eat crazy combinations of food. It's not like eat a slice of bread, three beets, and a hot dog, and you'll lose weight. This is real, wholesome, nutritious food, and that's really important to me. Um, it's also great because my family eats this way now. My husband's lost weight as well just because he eats what I cook, and it's, it's just adaptable to anything. Um, I think the reason I've been successful on this diet and not others is because this is the first diet program I've ever consciously made an effort to control my portions. Previously, I had success on Atkins. Um, I'll admit it, I fried chicken and pork rinds. I ate cheese till it was coming out of my ears, but I never really worried about portion control. And I'm a firm believer now that um, weight loss and a healthy lifestyle is 80% nutrition, 20% exercise. And this program plays into that because it controls your portions and encourages at least 30 minutes of activity a day. Um, I went on my first diet when I was like 19. I had lost some weight and I decided I was going to go on Atkins. Maybe I was 20 and I went on Atkins and I lost a bunch of weight. And then after that, it's all just been downhill since then. I've, I've done everything to try to lose weight, especially after I had my son. And I have not been successful until 21 day fix because the baby's six. I just can't call it baby weight anymore when the baby is six and can read. So that's how I came to 21 day fix. Um, I really didn't diet ever until after high school. I think I had a little different experience than most adolescent or teenage girls. I was always heavy. I've been heavy my entire life, but I never felt pressured to lose weight. It's just who I was, and I was comfortable in my own skin. I really didn't decide that this wasn't an okay way for me to be until after I graduated from high school. Um, how does the container system work for me? And how does it work when I'm eating out or I have a special event? This is like one of my favorite things to talk about. I prep. I prep a lot of my food. Um, I like to make big batches of soup for my lunch. I use my containers to measure everything out that I'm putting into the soup and then divide it by the number of servings so that way I know exactly how many um, portions I'm using. Um, I also really like it because it teaches me proper portion control. Whether I'm at home or whether I'm eating out, I can pretty much eyeball what is a proper serving of vegetables now, what is a proper serving of protein, or how many carbohydrates, or like what size is a proper serving of carbohydrates. So that's really, really been good for me because I didn't know anything at all about portion control before. I thought that I could just eat all that I wanted of green stuff or all that I wanted of fruits and it would be okay. But it's really all about keeping everything balanced. And that is one of the best things 21 Day Fix has taught me. Um, I'm not a stickler for 100% clean eating. I build a cheat meal into my diet every week. Um, and sometimes I count down to that sucker like kids count down for Christmas because I'm a foodie. I like to eat. I like to cook. So I'm not going to deprive myself of good things like, you know, good quality gelato, high-end cheese. There's just some stuff I'm going to have in life. I just have learned to have it in moderation and not eat like that all of the time. Um, the containers... They help me because I look at them and I can keep track of what I'm doing, I'm doing and what I'm eating. I've swapped my fitness pal over. That's how I track how many containers I have a day. For example, I know that I'm supposed to eat five red containers, which are protein. I'm supposed to eat four yellows, which are carbohydrates. I'm supposed to eat five green, which are vegetables. I'm supposed to eat three purple containers a day, which are fruit, and then one blue and one orange. 
it's pretty easy. Um, that's a lot easier than trying to weigh out my food on a scale or, you know, trying to carb cycle. I don't have to count calories. I just have these little containers that I put my food in them and I eat it. It's pretty easy. Um, okay. Let's see. If I'm eating out and it's not my cheat meal, I do the best I can and I flush the rest. Um, one of the great things about 21 Day Fix is I do not dwell on if I've made like a bad decision. Tomorrow's another day. Or just because you made one da bad decision doesn't mean your whole day is gone. You just do the best you can. And you're always just trying to do better than you did before. Um, Janie says that people who are watching her channel probably aren't looking for a rock hard beach body. Well, I do not have a rock hard beach body. You can see this. I've got some fat rolls and stuff going on here. This is about healthy lifestyle. Um, I've been heavy my entire life. And right now, I'm about the size I was right after I had my son. I'm not the smallest I've ever been, but I, I'm getting back that way. Um, do I think 21 Day Fix can be a lifestyle? Yes. I do. It's a lifestyle for me. Um, I chronically fix. I just do round after round. And I think the reason I'm having success with this that I haven't had before is I have a support network. Um, I have a coach. I have friends who are doing this with me. Now I have people that I'm helping do it because I'm a notorious couch potato. I like to read and do crossword puzzles and cook. So I think my friends that have seen my weight loss in social media have said, okay, if a notorious reformed couch potato can do this, so can I. And it's true. You can. Anyone can. I think anyone can be successful with this program. You just have to do it. You just have to plan. You don't ever want to let yourself get hungry. You want to have your food ready so that way you don't have the option to make a bad decision. Um, the support on social media and the portion control are irreplaceable. It's just, I cannot stress enough. To me, those things are irreplaceable. Um, also, you eat so much food. Like, if I wrote down what I ate every single day, you would say there is no way that a person can lose weight and eat that much food. I do. Right now I'm averaging half a pound a week, and I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, I've learned to eat to fuel my body. I don't just eat and eat and eat anymore. When I eat, it's because I'm hungry or because I need to eat because I've done a workout. Um, there's a big difference, a vast di difference in eating 1,800 to 2,000 calories a day of wholesome, nutritious, balanced foods versus a Big Mac. And that was something I didn't know before. Um, what do people need to know about the workout plan? Just do the best you can. I'm going to be honest, I've only done one round with the 21 Day Fix workout plan. And it was tough. Um, every day or um, most of the time, I do yoga. I weight lift five days a week. I walk. Um, I like Pilates. And I like body weight exercises. Um, most people have a great deal of success using the DVDs because they don't feel self-conscious like they would going to a gym. Or it's easier for them to work it into their schedule. Lots of moms work out before their kids are awake or after they've gone to bed just because their house is quiet and it's convenient for them. Um, the workouts are hard. They're, they're really hard, especially if you're like I was, super sedentary. Um, when I started in February, I couldn't even hold a 30-second plank. And a week ago, I just did six minutes in elbow planks. So I was really happy and excited about that. It's always you're just always progressing and making progress and that's what you have to remember it's hard now but you're gonna get stronger and once you get stronger and if you're like me you figure it out I really like this and it really really makes me feel good it's okay to puke it's okay to stop it's okay to modify your exercises it's okay to have to take a breather you just have to keep trying and keep going that's just the important thing I think um, that's just that's just what you can do because exercise is so important and it does make you feel so good it's so addictive um okay last question and thank you for your time what's the silliest thing i've ever done to lose weight um i was single i put myself on this diet called if i have to buy it i don't eat it and at the time i smoked a pack a day of virginia slims which i did not count so i basically mooched off my parents smoked and drank water 
and I lost, I lost I lost weight, but it wasn't a very good plan. It wasn't successful, and I quit smoking a year and a half ago, and it was the best thing in my life I've ever done. It was great. I feel so good, but thank you for your time. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them, and I hope you keep watching Janie's YouTube channel. She's really inspirational, and I think she's brave for doing this. Y'all have a great day.